Hi. Hi, guys. I'm El. I'm Daph. So, for whoever is here for the first time, thank you so much. Welcome, Welcome. to our page. Um, today, we decided that we were going to do half-half of things that you guys asked us. So, in the last couple of days, I asked a couple of questions on Instagram about what you guys would like to ask us when it comes to truth or truth or truth or drink questions or just questions in general because we got a lot of both we decided to mix it up hi i'm excited so one thing i did want to address though out of the 300 questions that we got a lot of them were about me and how i came out as a southeast asian woman uh what i could say to the lgbtq community um how did my parents take it things like that so we're not going to address that today, but because I love you guys so much, I will do a, another video this weekend about the, just that, Sorry, all that, the questions. Whoa, are you trying to say there's going to be two, vid two videos in one yeah. week? <laughs> all two. the questions that I got about coming out in the LGBT community and the Southeast, Southeast Asian community, uh, you'll be asking them to me and I will um, answer them. And I will be posting the video, I'm hoping, on Sunday, but I will keep you guys posted. But it's for sure going to be uh, before next week. So we won't be addressing that today to give us more time for all the other questions. That's fair. So um, we have the questions mixed in little jars here. One of them is a truth or drink. The other one is your fan questions. All of them asked by you, by the way. So um, unless they're specifically addressed to you or me, we're both answering it. All right. All right. You start. Love you. <clears throat> oh, this is Daph. We know Elle wants to get married and have kids, but do you? Do you? I know. I, I don't know why you guys think that Elle loves me more than I love her, but um, I definitely want to have kids. I definitely want to get married. Just not right now. I think that I'm in a good place. I'm finally in a good place, and I think you're finally in a good place too after a very long time. So. One day at a time. One day at a time. But yes, I absolutely want to have kids and I absolutely want to get married. So. My turn. Yeah. Would you hook up with your high school crush today? So like if you didn't exist in my life type of thing? Yes. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I, in high school, I didn't know I was gay yet. So, uh. I was crushing, or I thought I was crushing over boys. So I don't think you'll see me with the dudes. I don't think that's gonna happen. So my answer is no. Uh, my answer is yes. I mean, if if you and I are not together, if I'm single, if I have nothing else to do, like why the fuck not? Like yeah, I I would definitely. Well, for for starters, my high school crush was my first boyfriend, and we lasted a really long time. So I mean, oh. I mean, I don't think it would really be an issue there. But uh, yeah, that's why I would. So your turn? My turn? My turn. I don't know which one I'm choosing from, so we'll just go. You're, you're, she's going easy. <laughs> it's me again. Daph, is your hair naturally straight? Absolutely not. <laughs> My hair is naturally very curly. I just straighten it because it's a lot easier to deal with. It's not like this where she wakes up and it looks like this. Why you gotta ruin it? I'm so poor. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, my turn. I'm, I'm gonna take easy too. I'm not doing no truth or drink for the moment. Okay. What was the most embarrassing thing you did while on a date? Okay, so it's not going easy for me. Um, well, I was going to that bar with this girl and we were like walking down the street and we had to pass a light. And we're walking on the middle of the street. But it was snowing because, you know, in Canada it snows. So my ass decided to not walk properly and fall on my ass and it was just wonderful to see and uh, yeah, that's about it. It was very, it's a very good Sober? start. Sober? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I w probably would have walked better if I was drunk. You have no embarrassment? No, <laughs> I'm like taking another paper. No, I actually don't. Mine's a truth or drink because, you know, who's the alcoholic here? Have you ever bribed or flirted with a police officer to get out of a ticket? I already know that answer. Just just go. Just say it. Just, just I say did. it. I did. I said yes to the camera. Have you? I've never been stopped from the car. Well, I have been stopped, but like, it was like an old man. How am I going to flirt with an old man when I don't? How? That's okay, she said it. Okay, my turn. 
when was the last time you visited Sri Lanka? Oh, that's for you. When was the last time you visited your country? Guys, I kid you not, I might address this on the Sunday video, but it was when I was 15 and uh, my mom definitely wanted to bring me to a nun's coven. Okay, I can't, I can't wait for <laughs> next video. Tree, I swear to God. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, she wanted to bring me to uh, a nun's uh, place of, uh, you know, like a sanctuary for nuns because uh, she thought I needed a little bit of Jesus in me. So it's okay, I'll address that on Sunday. But yeah, that was the last time I visited Sri Lanka is when I was 15. So 15 years ago, but definitely want to go back. Definitely want to go back. Is this truth or drink? Yeah, you go, girl. Would you rather watch someone else kiss your partner or lose all of your money? Why are you looking at me? I'm asking you first and then I answer. I don't care. I work hard for this money to pay your <laughs> things after. Well, it's not like I pay a lot of your things, but to pay you, to pay out. I would definitely would watch somebody kiss you rather than lose my money. Because that's not a... No. I refuse. My turn. Is it my turn? Oh, sorry, here. No, oh, thank you. So, um, what's one thing you would never change about each other? Um, I really, I'm very excited to hear that. I don't think I would ever change your calmness. Your it's calmness. something I'm obsessed with. Really? I love how calm you are all the time. I would never change how you're always right. I actually enjoy it. Guys, we kind of proof. It's kind of a And why out. am I always right? Because I am a... I don't think it has anything to do with Virgos. You know how mm. many Virgos I know that are not even close to being right all the time? Usually, they ain't true Virgos then. Because usually Virgos are always right. 99% of the time you're right. And I, I, I love that. Shoot or drink? Because obviously that's what I go to. Obviously. Have you ever thought, like, during mid-sex, I can't wait for this to end? I'm not going to answer that. Why not? I want to know. With me? Cheers. Guess you'll never know. Sure. I'm not happy right now. Mm. Yeah. You didn't answer. Oh. <laughs> I have to answer it too. Yeah, I did. With me? No, not with you. You cannot. Well, I'm not going to say the answer. So, my question is, what's one thing you would change? Yo, guys, this girl couldn't have chosen a better... Like, look at this pen. Look at this flashy pen that she chose. I'm sorry. What is this? I can read it perfectly. Okay, go. What's one thing you would, you would change about each other if you had the chance? So, before that, it was what I wouldn't, now what I would... What would you change about me? Your height. She's not she's not short, guys, but it's just it was another lie, part of the whole scam that she created before meeting me. That would be my answer too. You and somebody actually asked us oh. how tall we are. So just for the record, I'm like five foot four and a half. And when I'm five five. <laughs> when she first when I first asked her how tall she was, she said I'm between Five five and five six. This ish is not even five four and a half. That's not true. You're like five I'm four. I'm one hundred and sixty eight centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> they like you on that driver's license. But Yo, it's okay. just, oh, just, sorry. Just, just my turn. It's my turn. Just, just go. Oh, truth I, or drink? Truth or drink, babe? Truth or drink? It. How was your first time with each other? Want to take a shot? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. That was nasty as fuck. Well. Oh, we look like two addicts. <laughs> 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 okay, horrible no. promotion. Okay, another truth or drink, because you know why not? Oh, okay. Well, um, let me start pouring shots then. Um, what's the shortest amount of time you've known someone before hooking up with them? Well, I don't know exactly, but uh, definitely under one hour. I don't know if that makes me any thing. Why are you on my garden? I don't judge. On camera. Are you going to answer? 
Yes, I will answer. So and I'm going to say less than an hour. To- <laughs> <laughs> no hope, no. Let's let's go a little a light this time. Who's the best advice giver between you and I? Whatever. I'm never gonna argue. I mean, it's not even sound hockey or anything, and it's just the truth. I just yeah. you're just better with explaining. Like I would agree with your advice. I just wouldn't be able to catch the words to say. It and I also decided to study psychology. That helped a lot of it. A lot of it in this whole process of yeah, explaining things. Okay, what do you guys fight about the most? We don't. We don't really fight per se. We would. Um, have many disagreements like uh, oh like about cleaning i guess i think the only thing that we fight about and i think this is what causes our fights is we're both very much structured but our structures don't align align so if i want something clean this way she wants it clean another way it would be clean. It would be clean, day. but it's just my brain and her brain does not help us process the way it's getting cleaned. So we argue on that. But besides that, it's uh, it's very rare to be honest with you. Like yeah, that would really be the only thing. Yeah, pretty much. I love that. I love that too. Oh, you already took one. Yeah. What keeps you too grounded in the relationship when you hit a rough patch? Also, one thing I would change about you is your damn handwriting. But yet you're able to have you're able to read it very easily. Okay, well pharmacists are able to read doctors' handwriting. Don't mean they don't want it changed. Thank you. Turn on right there. <laughs> uh what keeps us grounded? You know, just each other. Like whenever you would have a little instability i I would be like it's kind of like a back and forth kind of i think that we keep each other grounded very very well um if she doesn't feel some she she doesn't feel good or if she feels stressed about something i come in and i i try to explain all the reasons why she shouldn't and things like that um and if I feel some type of way, she does the same thing. And, like, we check up on each other a lot. Uh, if it's something that we have to go through together, then it's just, it's communication. Communication and communication. Like, that's all I could say, communication. I've never communicated this much with somebody in my entire life, in my relationships. Anyway. Never been so conscious about everything. Yeah, yeah it's, pretty much. It's crazy. It's, it's amazing. So it's definitely communication and just uh, just patience. So I'm a drunk ass, so I'm going to go to trigger drink. I love you. So cute. How would you rate your oral sex from 1 to 10? What? Like, how would you How would you rate your oral sex skills from 1 to 10? I'm not assuming bad. you're going to drink. You're not going to drink and you're going to answer? I mean, you can answer for me and I can answer for you. You can do that? No, you oh. can answer yourself with your cockiness. I mean, Cheers to you guys. So you don't want to answer how good your oral sex is? I mean, I think we're both 10, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Look at you. I look at me all the time. <laughs> how do you guys handle the difference of culture? That's a really good question. Lovely. Go, you start. Um, I don't know if my question, my answer is going to make any sense, but you're not born here, right? Absolutely, yes. You came here when you were 10, 11? 10. Just and 10. you've learned a lot living back home. Yeah, I have, I have a different mentality. Let's say. Exactly. I came here at a young age, don't get me wrong. But my mom still taught me a lot of things that she would have still taught me back home. And not only that, my brother has lived back home a lot longer than I have. We have a huge age gap. And he also thought, uh, taught me things and thinks that way. So for me, the cultural difference is extremely aligned. Yeah. 
because there's things that you do that you don't realize that you do. And I look at you and I'm like, oh, oh, she does that. Like, simply because I'm sure you've learned that back home. There's a lot of things that are not taught here. There's a lot of things that I feel like if you're born in this country, there's not a, there, there's things that are not taught to you simply because it's not as um, important as it might be back home. Yeah. So... But those are the little things. There's nothing wrong with it. Even if you were born here, I'm pretty sure we would have been okay and fine. But I think the fact that you were born back home and yeah, that just you... it's just an additional rela relatable type of thing. So it just connects a little bit deeper because you can actually relate on the way you think. It's pretty much that. Like just just if I'm pretty sure you gotten beaten up growing up. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> I've got beaten up growing up. And when I say beaten up, I'm not talking like uh, social it's worker. It's not child get, abuse. It's not child abuse. But I've still got thrown a bunch of stuff at me. I'm pretty sure you have too. But yeah, you know, not so saying that Caucasian people have not went through that. But it's not something that you... It's not common for them. Versus for me, it's if I tell her, hey, if I, I, want, I want to potentially discipline my child um, by giving her a tap on the ass, let's say. I don't think she's going to look at me and say, that's child abuse. Not saying that if I was dating somebody else, they would have. But it's something that I feel like we get along with and we see the same things and we align. So I think culturally, we're, we should, we're, we're good for now. Like, I don't see how this could ever change or why anything would change in that, in that matter. Yeah, I don't, and plus, you have two different cultures of food. I mean, why would you say no to this, please? I love your mom's food and you love, love my mom's, mom's food. food. Oh, my God. My mom's the best cook, guys. I'm telling you this right now. Oh, my Lord. Okay. I'm going to go. <clears throat> it's my turn. We got this. Do you guys tell each other everything? But de define everything. I mean, I'm not going to tell her the gossip of my girls, but I mean, like... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I... Like... Maybe like the additional overthinking side of me, I would most likely vent to my friend instead of her. But like, or like whatever happens with my parents, I wouldn't necessarily always tell her. But like on a daily basis, she knows yeah, pretty much everything. Pretty much. We, we definitely know the necessary stuff and we're each other's go-to person. So I don't yeah, see like that. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much. I would say yeah. Okay, we have a lot of more questions, but it's like 18 minutes, babe. So let's do like two more. We we she can just wants to keep drinking. I want to keep drinking. Just let's do it. <laughs> who's more demanding and who's more a freakier? You're demanding. I'm freaky. Well, that was very simple. Cool. Trying to trying to make it worth it. When, where, and how was the first time Daph said that she's in love with you? Um. So we were at her friend's house. No, actually, it was before I went to your friend's. I was just, uh, I dropped her at her friend's. And then I went to the gym. And then they forgot something in my car. So I go back to them. And you come pick it up. I think it was like 7 up or something. They were like partying or some shit. And I go and she comes to pick it up. But like, she's already half tipsy. She's like, and then she said that she's like, you know, I'm going to marry you one day. And I was like, oh, wow. We there now. And it was very cute. And, um. Yeah, so I think that would be a good answer. Am I right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I was reminiscing about it. So uh, it's pretty much we're doing mm -hmm. the truth or drinks now, because uh, they're yeah. more exciting. What's the best sex you ever had? Mm -mm -mm. That's not good. No, I just took a shot. I'm not ready for another one. Have you ever had bad sexual experience with each other? If yes, when? Would you like to say it? Or are you going to well, drink? Like, or when, when I drink a lot and I'm very, very tipsy, I get very, very sloppy. <laughs> so, like, it's not as fun. <laughs> I think it happened, like, once or twice. That it was me. <laughs> I have no words for this, guys. I'm sorry. I was thinking about it. Oh my god! Just, and just, and I'm usually sober, so it's just it's yeah. Well, it's just like we would drink the same quantity of alcohol, but the effect would not be the same. So it's not 
not fun. Why did y'all break up with your previous partners? Um, well, there's no bad blood. It's just she she wasn't my person, and that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say to it. I mean, well, you? Yeah, I I I think uh, I think that there's a lot of things that wouldn't have worked out in the long run. And uh, I had to stop it before it went way too far. And it just dragged on, you know what I mean? So, yeah. no bad blood, but it is what it is. What's the craziest thing you have ever done while being drunk? Please do not do this, but I did drive. I, I guess that would be the craziest. I mean, it, it would be the most life-threatening, I guess. Other, other than that, not really. Um, I would say like my me and my best friend used to travel a lot together, like almost every year, and uh, we've done some dumb shit like Cancun, Cuba. Like thinking back now, it's like there's things that could have happened, and thank God I had a guardian angel watching over us, and she did too. Cause yeah, so let's just leave it at that. And we're at 22 minutes, okay, babe. I don't want to bore them. I don't think you're boring them. Would you ever consider moving in together soon? One day at a time. There's days where I'm like, oh my god, let's just move in together. And there's and then we bring back we bring it back to reality and we're like, nope, we're not doing this. We yeah. did it before with our relationships. We don't want to make that mistake. Let's just keep this one day at a time and whatever comes comes. But for now, no. We're okay with, well, I'm okay with her living in my house rent free. Riskiest place you've had sex? What? what? Riskiest, how do you? Riskiest, riskiest place you've had sex. Yeah. What is your riskiest um, place you've had sex? Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm going to say the library in college. Really, that's the risk. But not only that, not not only that, but it's because it was right next to like the prayer room, so it was just like a whole. Yeah, no, guys, don't ever do that. I'm not even gonna say which college I went to, so whoever knows already knows. But yeah, no, don't do that. Where was your riskiest place? Did you take a shot? Well, like at the theater, but I don't count that as risky. At the theater, the, the cinema place. Oh, you're so cute, you girl. Go away. Does your families know that you are in a relationship? Yes, they do. They know of my existence. They know. They know of my we, existence. Yeah, and they know each other. They know of each other's ex of our each other's existence. But that's about it. That's about it. Never we met each other. We leave it at that. One day at a time. Okay, there's four questions. We got this. Oh my lord! It's twenty five minutes. It's been twenty two. Is there anything that you'll always regret? Ooh, I don't know if I should say this, but um. My first relationship, my high school crush, um, we lasted a really long time and it was so toxic that we never actually broke up. So I, if anything, I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in two very committed, like committed relationships because the other one shouldn't have ended either. But I, we just stopped talking and I just regret the fact that we never had that end conversation. I'm not saying closure. I'm just saying I've known that person for a really long time in my life and we should have just Talked it out, but never had that chance. We just kind of stopped. So I think something I would regret always. I don't think you should regret it. Kind of gets stuck in your head. No, I don't think about it. But like now that the question came up, that's something I, you know, it, it sucks. I don't have anything. No regrets. You live once. Drake, YOLO. There you go. See? What does the other do unintentionally that turns you on immediately? There. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, right. This just 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 oh take it off. <laughs> just take all of um it. I don't know. Sometimes she just gives me this look. I don't know what to tell you guys, but that's pretty much it. I don't know what to just say. No, it's okay, it's fine. Well, we have one last question. Oh my god, 25 minutes. I'm so sorry guys if we bored you. She's stressing for nothing. I bet you guys wanted longer than that. How have I changed? How have we changed ever since we met? We're more think? comfortable. Um, we're um, yeah, we're more comfortable. I think you're a lot more aware of a lot of things. I think that when I met you, you were like this very. I was a little bit of a mess. Oh, 
she was a whole mess i don't know if y'all watched the big comfy couch but you know how luna the clown has a whole mess at the end of that episode and she cleans it up in 30 seconds that was me i cleaned it up in six months it's what i do it's what i do so um and i think that uh we've grown and um in a lot of different ways and you taught me a lot of things even though you're younger and i think that's beautiful Listen, you're pretty hot. but i don't think we've changed per se now we're the same little i've never been <laughs> i've never been so myself yeah with somebody same so uh yeah well that's pretty much it we don't have any more questions we actually did it all Guys, we answered like 40 questions. Well, I don't know if it's 40, but you know what I mean. But mm. I think that... Um, are you pranking me? No, why? No, it was itching me here. Okay. But um, I think that... Um, sorry, I got... I got. I, I don't know what the hell she was doing and I'm like annoyed, but it's okay. Why are you annoyed? Because, I don't know. It's okay. We're not going to argue on freaking camera. So... Thank you so much for watching. Um, please stay tuned for this weekend where I'm going to do the coming out one for uh, the Desi community and sorry, the Southeast Asian community and things like that. Um, I'll promote it and I'll make sure that uh, you guys can all watch it. So please comment, like, subscribe. Um, we post on TikTok every single day and um we post on youtube every thursday please let us know what you think next week's video i'm sure you guys are gonna love it the one and on sunday or the one no no the one next week i have an idea for it but i mean it's one of your ideas i also want to mention the fact that we can't really do pranks right now simply because number one we don't live together number two we don't see each other that much in order to be able to do long pranks yeah. and number three I can't even go to the store right now because everything is a non-essential product. So in Montreal, we are under curfew and there's nothing on the shelves that we can buy unless it's food. So even if we want to do a Target challenge, even if we want to do like all kinds of things, there's nothing that we can do because it's yeah. everything under lockdown. So, so eventually I we'll do it. Yeah. So uh, that's about it. We're at 28 minutes. We're so sorry of taking half an hour of your time. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so stressed. <laughs> so um, please subscribe, like, let us know what you think. And uh, if yeah. any other ideas you guys have besides pranks, we're more than open for it. So thank you a lot for all the support. All the support. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Please send us your messages. We try to reply as much as we can. And uh, we love reading them. It puts a smile on our face every single day. I promise we read all of them. We might not answer all of them, but we read all of them. I promise. Yes. Thank you so Bye. much. Have a good day.